One afternoon while well in the community this past summer, we came across and confiscated a machete that a 12-year-old youth had concealed. People don't feel good about themselves when you're walking down the street that's grimy, dirty, full of graffiti, full of crime, you know, empty stores, uh, you know, in the residential area, you know, dilapidated buildings, drug houses. I mean, who wants to live in that, right? A guy came up to us and, and said, Pablo wants to know when we are going to leave the street so he can bring his girls back up because they're not making money when we're out. That's enough. Let's sit down and brainstorm what we can do. Then we started realizing that um, there was many more aspects to community than just fighting crime and that maybe there's a way that together we can take back our neighborhood. Here we go. One, two, three. We believe in 118. We believe in 118. We believe in 118. Because the safer it feels, the more people come out. The more people come out, the safer it is. The negative feedback has been so minimal. Um, when we first started off, there was some confusion about what we were doing. People thought maybe we were out here to be vigilantes, uh, which, which of course we're not. Our focus is all about the positive, uh, all about how to stand and socialize and just engage each other uh, in a really positive way so we can enjoy our space rather than be uh, upset about what's happening. And I think the arts and the artists have come and made this community alive again. The way I, I think of it is, you know, we bring some light down here and that's all it takes to drive the darkness away is to bring the light and, and that's what places like this do. I remember our first um, experience with media, uh, we ended up having a headliner the day before festival that said, prostitution and produce don't mix. And we are trying to, to overcome that hurdle. I think the biggest issue that this area has to deal with is reputation. We really believe that change is coming and that we are the beginning of a revolution of change. I really get jazzed about it because now I'm like, okay, what are we going to do next?